All right, he's starting to get this bay organized and cleaned out, ready to start and getting some of the house systems ready to be installed. So this is the back side of that where all his house system batteries, electrical panels, all that kind of stuff is going to end up going. He's just got to get in there and finish cleaning it with a little bit of a shop vac. But uh, he took the ceiling down that had fallen out. He's got some copper wiring or copper uh, plumbing to get out of there still that's not used anymore. You see it hanging there. But uh, we got a good start here. Uh, duct tape or epoxy? Yeah, it looks like they tried to fix a leak. <laughs> not well. There are things like that. What is that over there? That's epoxy too? I, I really don't know. <laughs> That's plumber's putty. Wasn't a plumber that used it. <laughs> That's, you should have a plumbing license to get that, yeah. It could be epoxy too, I don't know, it's hard to tell. corner piece that goes to the radiator there that's missing so it's a little banged up but it was found in the bay so we can actually work with that straighten it up and then at least get it reattached it won't look the best but it'll be there better than not being there so that was neat neat find we had never opened that bay before when we bought the bus the door didn't open so so we got his water pump here but it didn't come with a filter so we need to order the filter it's real important to have a filter on there I got this old, this tote that me and Kelly had been using when we first moved here to the property. He's going to use that as his freshwater tank for right now. And then he's going to weld up an aluminum one and put it in that position later. But uh, the bay cleaned up nicely and we're getting ready to start with the, that stuff. But we're going to have to hold off on the water pump. So right now he's just hooked to city water um, to feed his bathroom supply. Okay, he's getting ready to start on his electrical and house systems install here. So he really would, it'd be awesome if he could upgrade to the Victron Multi Plus like I have. I love that. But I, this Magnum inverter, I had just recently purchased that before we changed to Victron. So it's only got a few hours on it. And for the price of them, he can get by with that for now and then change to Victron later when he has the available budget. Everything's going to go over budget on this. So he's getting ready to install his electrical panel, uh, his house battery system, and water heater, fresh water system, all that kind of stuff. So. The bay's cleaned out, looking good. He's getting ready to start with that. Um, it's gonna be a real nice, neat install when he's done here. And I think we're gonna start, he's gonna try and start with, if he can swing the budget, he's gonna try and start with four Battleborne batteries, which would give him 800 amp hours uh, equivalent of batteries that were lead acid. So with four of them, they're 100 amp hours each, but because you can drain them down to near zero with the BMS, uh, the BMS prevents the battery from actually going below. Uh, it, it, you buy it like a 100 amp hour battery, they it's actually like 110 amp hours, but you can use 100, the 100 amp hours out of it. And that 10, that extra 10 stops it from being completely depleted internally, which is very bad for the lithiums as well as lead acid, which obviously lead acid, you can't go below 50%. So uh, the lithiums, they're just, they're a total game changer. I have them in my bus. I absolutely love them. Uh, high power devices like your microwave and all that kind of stuff works so good. So he's going to be real happy with that. So, but you, you know, it's, it's high amperage draw stuff. You know, if you have a coffee maker, uh, we use a convection oven, uh, obviously the mini split air conditioners that he's going to have on here. Uh, all that stuff can run off of the inverter and those batteries, uh, and it's no issue whatsoever. You don't get voltage drops or anything like that, and you can charge them and use them. We've had ours for over a year now, and they're absolutely amazing, so I'm, I'm happy to see that he's going with the same thing. We put stone base tile flooring in in the shower here in the bus, so that'll be the, the floor for the shower in the bathroom. Looks very nice. So Tyler doesn't have to drive his bus all, all the way over here to the dump site and dump his black tank into that. It's pretty big, it's 28 gallons, but it's actually larger than I thought it would be. So fill it over there, dump it over there. Got a little trailer hitch that we don't know how to hook on yet. Got to read the instructions. Comes with a little hose, all the little attachments. All right, so we got the turbo ordered for the bus. That'll be here in a few days. We ended up finding it from Powerline Components, the place they originally told us they couldn't have one for three weeks. Turns out they had one on the shelf. So we just luckily called back and 
They had it. Oh my god, look at all the birds. Don't poop on me, don't poop on me, don't poop on me. I'm not looking up. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie over here. Wow. Where are you coming from? This is insane. It's still coming. All right, we're getting ready to remove the turbo. Uh, we have soaked the nuts there with Croyle uh, a couple days ahead of time there. Um, I think he started yesterday, so yesterday and then today. He did it. He's done it twice. So hopefully those will come right off. And uh, looks like we found the turbo at Powerline Components, which was the first place that we called. They said they couldn't get one for three weeks. Turns out they now say they have one on the shelf. So. I'm a little skeptical if it's the right thing or not, but we will find out once we get this apart. So far, that one is actually coming up, but it's getting tight. That one is rounding, and we haven't tried the other two yet. I just took off the oil line to give us room to get to it a little bit easier. My lighter's square in that pocket, and this hoodie likes to catch on fire. There's a bazillion birds. birds right out here. Go, sh go shoot a shot into the into the berm over there, Tyler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just one. Ready? Yep. They shut up. <laughs> I never thought they would get quiet. I thought they'd make noise. No. I told you they'd get quiet and they'd fly away. Well, that was exciting. Okay, back to the turbo. We just got, I just had to cut off. I used a chisel to get it because it was stripped out the last one. So we should be very close to removing this now. That one we had to use a cutoff wheel. That one we broke off. That one actually came out, and that one I used a chisel to get the nut. Is it coil for it? Will I help it? 
hear a Did you hear a gunshot? I did. <laughs> you should have seen all the birds. Oh my god. They went they flew back. There was thousands of literally thousands of Guess what's gluing it? Don't drop that washer down under the exhaust. Here it comes. Slightly larger than it's supposed to be. <laughs> I told you we'd get it. Let's, go lay, on, let's go lay it on the tailgate of your truck, Tyler. Starting to open up. Ready? Yep. <laughs> I had a hell of a rust ridge in there holding that in. <laughs> it sure did. <laughs> Got 1.39. Thank you. added a whole bunch more LED party lights up the driveway all the way down almost to Tyler's bus and then we do still have all the ones over here still too <laughs> 